shopping carts. How convenient. Let's get that here. I think let's get a smaller one. Here, we'll get the one with the lucky coat hanger in it. Everything here is $1.25. So let's take a look. This is pretty. Let's see. There's like a plate over there. Very nice. Oh, what is this? One of those diffusers. Hmm. Gotta look at everything. Look at this lady. Capo de Monte. Napoleon, actually. Hummingbird. Isn't this store great? Like right when you walk in. I have things set up like living rooms and stuff like that. So you have to look in between everything so you don't miss anything. It's chipped. Let's look at these dogs to see if they're cute. They are cute. Some mushrooms here. See some wooden fish. These are fun. Oh, they're super lightweight. Look at that whale. It's a sperm whale. Really cool bookend. It has Winnie the Pooh and it has some kind of book in there stuck in there. Oh, he's the book. He's the book. Oh, I wish I had the other one. I bet you this is very valuable. Oh, are they coasters? I mean, they're kind of bumped up, so. Not sure. Oh, these are fun, you guys. They were $10 each. Hermitage pottery. These are kind of fun. They're very, very lightweight. Okay, isn't this store so relaxing? Oh my. Coasters. That's a pretty piece of pottery. Look at him. It's a tray. Made in Thailand, kind of uh, would be difficult to find a box for that. It's big blue fish over there. Let's look, Let's see what else we find. Some raggedy and dolls over there. Been talking about them all day. See, they have it set up like a bedroom scene here. Oh, this is cute. Just one though. It's awfully dirty in the center by the eyes, so. Not gonna get that. I like anything that has to do with cats, so I'm attracted to it. So I always go and check it out. Like this cat would be really cool if he wasn't chipping off. The shells weren't chipping off. Oh, wait, this was a bookend. It's only one bookend. These are very large salt and pepper shakers. I mean, they're really cool. <laughs> Kind of fun. Mm. These are like old, very old postcards. German postcards, guys. Oh. We'll get these. They're eight dollars and ninety-five cents. That might be valuable. Although this is maybe a vintage piece of coral. Coral is very plentiful for me. If you guys need a piece of coral, let me know. I'll just go to the beach and I'll get you some. <laughs> Let's go down this way. I think I'm missing a whole shelf unit there, though, if my memory serves me correctly. And I have found a vintage candle. Don't I find them everywhere? You know I'm going to have to take it. Oh, I might melt, though, you guys. It might melt in the car. And he's pretty banged up, and he's not my favorite. I wish he was yellow. Sorry, fella. Running into some resin pieces. 
Wow, look at her. Hand painted. She's beautiful. Although I did not find this exact one anywhere online, I did find a similar one selling on eBay for $39. Hmm. Let me think about it because I have a lot of wooden boxes that I'm having a little bit of trouble getting rid of. But that's so pretty. Is it hand painted? It's pretty old. Hmm. Oh, my heart's telling me to get it. And I also just spotted some salt and pepper shakers. Look. Oh, no, never mind. I thought they were. No, they're not. This um, vanity tray is really, really pretty. They want $34.95 for that. So it's very pretty, but that would be a piece that I buy for myself if I do get it. So I will not because I don't need it. All right. Oh, look at this picture. The horse scene made in England. Pearsons of Chesterfield. I'm gonna look up. They want $14.95 for it. I think it's discounted. Let me look this up. I see that the brand sells pretty well, but this particular picture was just re reduced on Etsy to about $20. So I'm not gonna get it because even if they discount, I think it's only 20% off maybe. $14.95. It's really nice though, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pass. These are those like scented wax thingies. They smell real good. Let me see. Yeah, wax pottery vessel. You just like leave it, I think. And it just like fragrances your house. That smells really nice. I think she just put some stuff here just now. What did she put? Probably these. Oh. These copper candle holders made in India. This one says, etc. Um, what are these? These are, let me open one up. They're like old scrolls. Guys, what is it? Do you know? <laughs> I don't know anything. I think it has to do with music. Cool though, three dollars a piece. Oh, they're word rolls. Um, so like a whole bunch of them, as you can see here, you know, a whole bunch of them uh, sold for, for not so much. Some of these are really old. I'll have to look into these to see which specific ones I need to be getting. Look at this, how to tune a piano. Let's see. I don't know much about that, so. What is this? I don't know. This is somewhat valuable so if it was like five dollars i'd probably pick it up but it's 14.95 and they're selling for about like 20 to 50 dollars but again it's gonna be hard for me to find boxes i think that i'm missing out though but it's i'm gonna walk away i have a lot of posters and art <sighs> maybe i should let me think about it while i'm walking around maybe I should look it up. not sure hmm Oh, you guys, you know what? I'm gonna get it. It says 1981 on it. Best Musical 1983. Um, I mean, the poster company, I think, is 1981. Did I just spin you guys around? I'm sorry. Um, I'm just gonna get it. What's the harm in it? What is this some kind of hieroglyphics? It's obviously hand painted. Kind of cool, kind of neat. I don't know how vintage it is. It doesn't have a um, doesn't have a date. Looks pretty old. Posters in here. Flowers. Shenandoah. William Chapman. Look at all of these. This must be from the same person. That night. Murder was the least of the sins. <sighs> Andrew Lloyd Webber, Joseph, and the Amazing Dream Coat, Wind in the Willows, Amadeus, Lauren Bacow. These might all be pretty valuable. 
a little night music. I just wish I knew my stuff. I don't. I don't know my stuff. Okay. There's a little nook in here. Let's see. Hand painted. Ophelia? Oh, I just sold this plate. Or a bigger one for like $20. Some wooden chopsticks, some lusterware. Really pretty rose um, bell, 40th anniversary. And there's this really pretty bell. It's very lightweight. Painted. Cool. Those tins made in Belgium. It's nice though. It's a tin plate. No, I just don't do tin. Oh, look at all those figurines. Let's go see if there's any valuable ones. First, check this out. It doesn't feel very, you know, sturdy. Uh oh, somebody's coughing. I don't know what that means. Let's see if there's any figurines that I actually want. Because I have a lot. And I don't really want any more. <laughs> She's cute. She's missing stuff. Probably a duck or something. This cool um, walrus. Cute. Oh, look, I have that music box back there with a the couple if anybody wants it. I do have to repair mine though. The bottom with the glue came off. These little dogs are cute. These are all chipped. But the little stuff is really great because it helps with shipping when you're sending stuff um, on whatnot. Look at this little animal. It's plastic, like vintage plastic. Look at him. Special delivery. Cute. Let's see what's back here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass on any figurine for now. Guys, last time we were here, I didn't even notice there was a whole book section and records over there to the back. So let's see if we can find any more weird doll stuff. Shoelaces. Old shoelaces or dress laces. Cool. On some old Florida postcards from Sarasota. They're all the same. These are cool. You're going to want to take full blown advantage if you ever find postcards of old cars. These sell like hotcakes. I have been selling $5 to $8 each one, and I have three sets here of different cars, and they are about 51 in each set and those are just easy passive income make sure you do pick these up if you see anything like this whatsoever from 1995 mm. super fun though Let's see Ooh, that's so old oh my goodness I mean, we're talking. Oh, no. <laughs> we're talking old, old. Wow. So banged up. This is a cute little milk glass. Very translucent. You guys, um, I might pick this up. Very milky and very cool. It's a compote. So, and it's not cracked or chipped at all. And I think they only want like $2 or something for it. So, we'll take that milk glass piece. Let's see if there's anything else. 1989 tile art. 
match alls. Let's see, post true pencil pointer. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is cool. I'll have to see what that's worth too now. I apologize. My phone died right here. We are going to go to the Salvation Army. I do have one of my battery packs with me and that is quite dead as well. So I do need to rethink the way I film and I do apologize for this, but here we go. Hey guys, I have a little bit of charge and I came into the Salvation Army here in Sarasota and I found these Pier 1 angled crackle glass champagne flutes. And there's two of them. They're, this one's totally fine. Let's see this one, no issues at the base. And they're only $1.99 each, and look how much they sold for. So, I see that they're also selling abundantly, but, you know, it's okay. I'm going to pick those up. I can't stay in here too long because their AC, AC does not work, even though they have this huge fan. There's some areas just way too hot, but we'll try to do the best that I can. So far, I only have those champagne glasses and... Um, let me show you. Once I get past everyone, this tiki mug. It's not vintage though, so I might actually, actually, I don't know. The who knew? I have to look up this place, but anyway, it's pretty cool for $3.99. Actually, I just looked it up. The Hanu is a place in Dunedin. Um, they opened up in like 2014 or they bought the property in 2014 but it's really nice and eventually it might be worth something so uh, uh, I don't know maybe I'll probably get it anyway it is like a Florida memorabilia thing so that's okay let's look at some art pieces here and let's go I'm actually um going to sit in my car for a little bit because my friend Diana she has the moniker of Girl Noise on Whatnot, Instagram and everything. And she is actually going to have a show at 2 p.m. Eastern time. She's on the West Coast, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm just going to sit in my car and watch her show. This is this would be nice if it was missing one of the windmill uh, fans. But okay, I don't see anything else here this is a really nice salvation army i think they it's my understanding from reading the reviews that they may have like reopened or something so but the ac factor for me is hard today i understand you know ac's break but it's hard for me because i have neurological issues with my um celiac and it makes my brain all like Bleh, and I have passed out so I have like heat intolerance basically so and we're just gonna check out I'm gonna get those flutes yeah and I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass on the tiki cup but I'll get you know just I, I'm not sure I don't know it's four bucks that's the problem Okay, so I'm just going to get the flutes then. All right, here we go. Okay, guys, it is super hot outside. It was hot in the Salvation Army because their AC broke and it's hot outside. It only says 84 degrees, but honestly, it feels like 100. But we are going to go to the Goodwill in Sarasota. Uh, we went to the one in Bradenton yesterday. I might check that one out again on my way out. I'm still debating whether or not I should stay overnight again, but it's Sunday tomorrow and I don't think a lot of places are open. So let's go check out the Goodwill in Sarasota. Okay, so before we go to Goodwill, actually we need to go check out World's Attic Thrift Store that closes in uh, just a little over an hour, but it had really good reviews. Uh, talks about reasonable prices. So let's go there first, you guys. Sarasota is thrift central it is thrift person's heaven and all the thrift stores are just kind of so close together three four five minutes apart from each other that it's just to me just ridiculous to not visit them so that's what we're going to be doing so this looks like a, a daycare it's so adorable world's attic thrift shop mcc thrift i don't know anything about mcc but it says over there 
Development, Education, Food, Health, Peace, and Advocacy. Sounds like a place that I would love to spend my money. So let's go check that place out. Okay, please no food or drinks inside. 50% off all blue tagged items. Looks like Goodwill. Hey, let's see what we've got. Oop, they've got some music going on, so I might have to. Oh, look at this owl family. You guys, oh, it's all chipped up there. Pier 1 Imports. That would have been nice. But it's, it is also resin, which is fine. I like resin. It's just that um, it was just kind of chipped. This is an Amberina little um shoe but they want ten dollars for it so i'm pass on that but that is a i mean that's a cool find though you know these hats i got for like a dollar and 90 cents at salvation army army so ten dollars um let's see what else they got well, these candies can be kind of valuable let's see four dollars for the bag of candy mm, let's think about it these really neat owl foil art um, framed pieces are really nice. I just don't know the prices of that, so I might ask them what they want for it. This might be Choken. Let's see. Doesn't say, but it's really nice. These uh, Lily, I forget what they're called again. Pulp of Lily or something. Um, vases usually do sell well pretty well for me um, but I don't like I'm not sure if I'm crazy about the colors if it was like pink or purple maybe look at this ruffled glass vase here six dollars is not a bad price let's put it down and let's definitely think about that is that Roseville what is this how nice oh it's unnamed it's just really nice. Three dollars. Think about that too. Put it back slowly. They're really nice things. I had to turn the camera off for a second, you guys. There was a really nice uh, lady that was trying to assist uh, someone who broke this item but apparently it was like her third time breaking it something um, because she was uh, highly inebriated uh, you never know someone's situation you guys be kind be patient this is really pretty i wish there was a pair yeah hen and nest milk glass oh it's not actually milk glass it's ceramic it fooled me there are two of these really gorgeous drip glaze candle holders. I might actually pick these up. There's two of them. Um, let's see, five dollars a piece. Just really love them. Are these so beautiful? Look at this one. Let's hope that there's no chips on this one because I don't buy one. It's signed 1995, which makes it vintage. This is so beautiful. We're definitely gonna pick these up for $10 for the both of them. Gorgeous. Look at these excellent bottles. Um, they might actually be, let's see, for bid sale. What? These bottles. You don't see the price of it, but aren't they beautiful? Let's see if the other one has a price on it and then we might get them. No price, so we're, oh, there it is, $4 a bottle. They're really pretty. Actually, I'm very tempted to buy these bottles, but they're selling for like $10 each. I have one sold for like $4. It, it just doesn't, it doesn't really, this is Hager right here, you guys. That's valuable. $5 Hager piece. 
pop it in here and then we will look up the value of that. You know, I'm just hoping she's not gonna drive home. I asked her, are you going to drive home? And she said no, but a lot of times they don't tell you the truth. So. Um, I've worked with substance abuse. Um, you know, she's just gonna try to go home probably. I think I saw her pull in with a car. So I'll be paying attention to make sure she doesn't get in there by herself. Or get out, you know, in the parking lot. <sighs> by herself. Normally would mind my own business, however, she is in danger. Oh, they're calling her an Uber. I don't I'm not gonna show you her because just for privacy reasons. But that's good. They're gonna call an Uber, it sounds like. She's going to leave her car until she's sober. That's good, poor baby. Poor thing. Life is so tough, you know? Just never know. All right, let's see. Hmm, I wonder if this piece of milk glass is valuable. I'm going to check it out. So I did look this up. Actually, I'm going to pick it up. I think it's an Ellie Smith. Um, there was some value to it. It's only $3, so... Um, I saw one sold for like 30 bucks, so let's pick it up. Okay, I like this. <laughs> I should get it. I mean, I'd be selling it on whatnot. People do like different things. Oh, look at the Christmas section. Those Christmas tree cut out ceramic paper bag. They're supposed to look like paper bags. Raven. They're worth anything. How cute. Yeah, I just looked it up. No, I can't really find any information on it. I'm sure if I dug a little deeper, but I'm just not going to. I never buy clowns because they scare me. I don't buy them. I do realize that some people do like clowns. I just, oops. I just, it's just a personal choice. Now this is my kind of jewelry jar. We normally buy jewelry jars and open them. These are shell jars, aren't they cute? Look at that huge um, lace. I forget the name now, can you believe it? It's okay. I always know the name of that. Murex, lace Murex. Barnacles are pretty desirable. Also, believe it or not, $3. I get that. I have to look up how how much barnacles are going for these days. Yeah. I know. It's crazy. But it is. This is nice. Welcome, friends. It's quite old. This is a candle. Vintage candle. Acorn. I usually just get, like, the animal ones. Let's see if we can find any cool things up here. Oh, it's like a, oh, Mexican pottery, napkin holder, I get that, it's interesting, I like pottery quite a bit, look at this instrument, signed by the artist i happen to be collecting mexican wedding vases this one for five dollars is such a steal it's large and in great condition i love mexican wedding vases because they signify unity between a bride and a groom no longer do they have separate lives they are now together each spout represents one member of the couple and then the handle signifies the unification i'm gonna get that it's huge Keep this kitchen clean, eat out. It's funny. I like those kind of slab hangings, wall hangs. I usually play golf in the what? 70s? When it gets colder, then I quit. Colder than that, then I quit. <laughs> it's cute. 
thought it might have been amethyst glass by chance. Um, look at this. Cute. Warmers designed in Canada. Not vintage. 2006. Oh, they have more knickknacks here, guys. Oh, we're going to go crazy up in here. Authentico Rancho La Puerta. Cute. Some modern elephants. Candles. Teacup candle. All that wax. The jewelry jar. Um, let's see what's up in here. Mostly just beads. Yeah. I didn't really take a big look at that. Look at this. How cute. It'd be a nightmare to ship, wouldn't it? If you pack it real well, it'd be okay. Flower. I have a bunch of acorns if you guys are looking for vintage acorn candles. Hit me up. What's this? Yam Hasho. Cool. This watermelon bowl. What about this thing here? Country kids. Okay. Kind of fun they have everything a dollar here so let's check it out to dad love betsy betsy did a good job with the house let's see oh is it a glass slug get a cute little glass slug for a dollar hmm. Oh, he was attached to other parts before. So, hence the dollar. Let's see. No, I think we're good. Yep, I think we're good, guys. Look at this car! You guys! <laughs> That's ridiculous! My trunk is just as bad. So it looks like everything blue is 50% off. I hope that's true. I'm finding that sometimes I'm going into thrift stores and they're telling me about the, um, thank you. They're telling me about the blue sale, red sale, this and that sale, but then I never find those colors. <laughs> but I, I don't think I've been to this one. Let's grab this cart. Looks like it's ready for us. Hopefully it's not wobbly. Ooh, look at all those pearls in there. Hey, how much is your jewelry bag with the, the pearlies? Uh, $99.99. $99.99, guys. Nothing broken? Uh, that, I'm not sure. I'm not the one who puts Oh, <laughs> that's okay. That's cool. I appreciate you, though. Ooh, look at all this cool stuff. All right, I'll come back around. Thank you. Oh, look at this box of Legos. There's figurines and stuff, $74.99. Let's send a picture of this to Adam, see what he thinks. Look at this Vera Bradley. It's really nice. Let's see, it opens this way. How much do they want for that? $12.99. It's a good one too. It has some wear, but nothing major. Might pick this up on our way out. Let's just put it in here just in case somebody else takes it. <laughs> Take it. Oh, I get it. All right, let's just take it for now. I saw this too. I thought it was cute. It's cork. Um, they want six ninety nine for it, and I think that's really nice. Cork. Hmm. I don't know. Let's think about it. Is cork valuable? I mean, cork bags and stuff. I'm sure. Oh, look, they have a Goodwill boutique over there. Well, that's different for me. I haven't seen that. In a while or ever let's see uh oh it's one of those things where i have to start talking loudly because the camera i mean the uh the uh oops, sorry ma'am 
the music is pretty loud. So here we want the hard goods and there are one, two, three, four, five aisles of it. Lady did tell me that this was a good Goodwill, so. Oh, I'm excited. They won $10 for this cobalt blue glass. Is that chipped? No, it's just like a flaw, right, maybe, let me see. No, it is chipped. It's pretty, but you know, it's hard when you have chipped glass. Can't really, you, you can't fix it. If there's scratches, you can kind of buff it out, but yeah, unfortunately I'm gonna have to pass on that. Is this some kind of Game of Thrones thing? No, <laughs> wouldn't that be cool? This is an interesting, I thought it was a paperweight, but it, it might be a candle holder. I don't know, but they want $10 for it. Let me just pop it in here just in case. I might end up leaving that um, Vera Bradley bag, you guys, because I noticed some tears on the side. So I'm a little know about that. Oh, I thought that was a fairy lamp. Nope, it is not. Um, let's see what else. These look like really cool little, um, candle holders and they're signed no chips no cracks let's just put them in here and we'll look up the value of them here's another one right over here so we'll take those for $2.99 and we'll check them out these are really pretty too with the flowers but I do need to be careful with candle holders uh, as I have many of them so they have to be pretty unique for me to pick them up I knew these were false graph before I even picked them up because uh, there was like matching mugs at Fabulous Finds. Look at this. This is an oil lamp. Pretty. But I, I don't know much about oil lamps and I'm not sure if, how to work this. So I might be making a mistake, but I just don't, I don't know. It doesn't look vintage or anything. This is just really cool. You put the candle and you could you know put out the candle with this little thing but i'm not sure uh i wish there was two of them i they're probably it's probably pretty vintage but let's put it in here for 2.99 i just want to tell you guys that if you ever need candles check out your local goodwill or thrift store because candles tend to be kind of pricey and to be really honest um goodwill candles are starting to get up there with the price so maybe you get a better deal like somewhere else but but you know check it out anyway it might be worth it this is a nice little plain vase it's a lennox bud vase they want five dollars for it um it's kind of plain for my taste i'm not a big fan of lennox but it does sell well so we're gonna try that out and then let's see over here if there's any special type of special types of vases Okay, I have found my way down another aisle because there's a lady non-stop coughing without covering her mouth, which is very annoying. You guys, I can't even with people sometimes. Oops. And I, there's a lot of people here, so we are trying to dodge as well. So let's start in an aisle where there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of people. These are nice kind of cooler mugs oh yeah they're nice though. they're porcelain it's okay oh look at these super vintage oh you have the mirror oh my gosh it says g or something someone had made it probably hello my pick oh it's all broken and stuff Never mind. It is was nice though. I love my pet. Okay. Let's see, he's so cute. This little skunk. There's some kind of amber fruit in here. Hobnail, hobnail fruit. They want five ninety nine for it. Plus all these pebbles. Just one of the hobnail fruit. Look at these. They're milk glass. Probably Hazel Atlas or something, but they must be something because they have them priced at like $5. These are $12.99 for all of these glass fruits. Well, these are interesting. These squirrels have acorn bodies. That's weird. I think I kind of like them. Oh, look, I just bought one like this the other day. 
Let me see. Oh, what's wrong with it? Oh, it just leans over like that. I'm like, what's wrong with this cat? It's seven dollars they want for it. Do I want to get it? Mm, not sure. Uh, maybe. Maybe. No. Maybe. Let's put it in here. These are funny. These acorn squirrels. They're these totally MCM uh, wall plates, but I have a lot of uh, very similar ones like that, so I'm gonna pass. I think they only want, um, well, they want $6.99 for each of them, but I will definitely pass. You know, I picked up this Boyd's Bear with the tag. It says $21.99 on it. Um, so, you know, retail is selling it for $21.99 and they want $5 for it. And I looked online, used resale is selling for like $10 to $12, but be on the lookout for Boyd's because some of their pieces are very um, valuable. I just personally don't, I try, you know, I'm very allergic to um, dust, so I try not to have that kind of stuff at home, you know, that can attract dust. I don't know what to think about this. Someone made it, it's a project piece. They only want $2.99 for it. It's like signed by the artist, but I don't really know if I like it. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it. I know that you guys have heard that Disney is very valuable, but I find that things that are bought in the park is very valuable. Be careful with pieces like this. Uh, I just looked this up, it's selling for like $2. And they want $2.99 for it, and it's a Kmart piece, so just just be careful with that. Is that Roseville? Oh, it's Hall. I want $10 for that. No, no thank you. I will pass on that. What this? What's what's he about? <laughs> it's funny. It's supposed to be looking over like that. He's kind of cool, but he's broken. Wow! Look at this ginormous owl. He's like bejeweled. <laughs> oh, he's chipped badly there. Twelve ninety nine. Oh, too bad. He's really badly chipped. Can't do it so cute this these pastel birds are really beautiful let's see but they want ten dollars for the big one five dollars is it just me guys do i am i being ridiculous they're they're quite pricey right <laughs> that's why things are falling off the shelves because they're not moving their inventory fast enough maybe they should lower their prices a little bit but hey it's okay one thing i could tell you for certain is this place does have a really nice item. So if you're trying to decorate your home, this will definitely be a go-to spot if you are visiting or living in this area. I'm gonna try to check out, I'm gonna go to the one in Bradenton again. Let's head over there because then I'm just gonna drive back down home. So yeah, let's head over there. Maybe we can hit up Sunshine Thrift again. Boy, what a roller coaster I put you guys through. We're back at this Goodwill again from last video. <laughs> it's just awesome. It's 8750. I was afraid I was going to forget this Goodwill because it was just so good. Um, but I did not. We're here. Now, all right, let's get in there. Heading to the back area. Music's just a little loud in here too, so I might be talking a lot, just trying to cover up the music, trying to drown it out. I found this hat. It says light up the holiday. It's got Mickey ears. Um, I think this is a Disney park. It is. They want $6 for it. Oh, it's damaged. It's missing one of the ornaments from It's a Small World after all. Hmm, yeah, no, no, no. We'll want it completely intact if we're gonna resell it. Check this out, guys, it's raining again. Remember when we were here on the last video, which was yesterday um, for me? Um, it was pouring like that also. I think I see something from Disney Parks here. Cinderella spatula. Hmm, it's okay gonna pass on that make sure you look through um you know all these kind of things 
says Amalfi. Not a very good glue job. Yeah, but uh, be very careful when you do, you guys. I cut myself yesterday. Somewhere there it is. Um, looking through these things. So just be very careful. Don't be a Samantha. Don't be a Samantha. Oh, look at this. $1.99. Oh, look at that. It's too bad. That's kind of a cool little, maybe a project piece. Not sure. It's a cute little um, Dutch apple bowl. These are always really funny. Florida before three shots. And after three shots. I've seen that so many times. <laughs> I was going to pick these uh, beautiful pink depression plates up, but they're, I was like, they can't be that perfect. They're $1.99, but there is a chip right there. I don't know if you see it, but it's at the bottom of the glass, so yeah. No, that's okay. I have a lot of pink dishes. Original souvenirs from Czech Republic, Prague Castle. Cool. What's this? Manchester, Vermont. This is cool. Made a birdhouse with a Alabama license plate as the roof. Cool. One little 99 cents. Um, here's another one here. So I wonder, they're both 99 cents. And saw them yesterday. They're probably project pieces, but kind of like them, you know? They're kind of cute and cool. Let's just make sure nothing's living in the holes. <laughs> Sometimes, I mean, you just never know. I feel like I like them. I liked them yesterday. I don't see why I don't like them today. I feel like somebody might want birdhouses. They're really cute for 99 cents. This is really nice. It's very old. You light up my life. Oh, it's like broken. Just fix it, but it's okay. Look at these. wooden um candle holders there's a couple of here over here there's another one right there i'm not so sure Nice catch all. What's this back here? Oh, it's really nice. <laughs> but don't, I don't really need it. <laughs> I have an abundance of thermoses and, um, you know, this kind of to go, to go drink cups or somebody just broke something. I broke something earlier. I just didn't get it on video. <laughs> You guys, this is an antique piece. This is a metal. So he's playing a sitarda. It's an antique. We'll have to clean it up. They only want three dollars and ninety-nine cents for it, but it's very valuable. I've seen this being sold for about a thousand in the past on Cherish, so we'll take that. Let's see what else we can find. You just need some, you know, repair, but cleaning, that's very antique. $3.99, crazy. This is the Space Needle in Seattle. Votive holder. Now, I'm a really big fan of Seattle. So I'm going to pick this up for myself, $1.99. 
So I didn't really pick up any souvenirs when I was out there. My friend lives out there, so I will definitely be, can get more souvenirs. Or, you know, at their local Goodwill, maybe. Beautiful piece. I love wood carvings. This is Hope's Cottage. Ooh, Thomas Kincaid. My mother loved Thomas Kincaid, artist of the light, I think they call him. He can make things look like there's light just by his paint. Like, look at the water, how the light's reflecting off of the water from the house through the windows. He's a really an amazing. I think he passed away. I think he passed, fortunately. So, oh, I've been collecting these like Polish wood carved plates. These look like in pretty bad condition. Uh, the ones that I have are really perfect. This would have been nice. I would have picked them both up. They want $8 for them. They're so badly damaged. I meant sit sitar, by the way. Sitar, I believe, is what I meant type of guitar but I've seen that on Cherish being sold for or did sell for a lot um, 400 500 and thousands of dollars so just very excited about that if I leave here with nothing else I'll be happy Let's see yeah. sleeping chalkboard cat no <laughs> This is really great too. Pretty penny bank. Bling bling. It's missing its stopper. It's cool though. Masked singer. What is this back here? Cool. Wait. <laughs> We're just all breaking stuff up in here. It's a bank. Yeah, a Star Wars bank. Stormtrooper. Um, Oh, let's, you know what this is? Um, you know, so most of you guys know, like, a uh, garlic grater. I bought one thinking that I can resell it. <laughs> it's, just, it's just sitting at home, but I haven't put it up yet, so I'm not sure if it will resell. Mm, this is so cute. Uh, Lucy and me, 1985. Oh, he's got a chip on his hat there. Let's see what's underneath all this stuff. What type of plates they got. Let's put it here. Okay. Oh, pressed flowers. So beautiful. I like them. But the world doesn't share my enthusiasm. I cannot resell those. It's very hard. I have them. If anybody likes them, let me know. I have boxes like that. We'll definitely put it in my shop at some point. I just have such a big inventory. <laughs> this is kind of cool. All right, let's check out what they have over here. These are cool. I, that's another thing I need to stay away from is like uh, um, porcelain. I got lots of porcelain. How cute is this? $1.99, a little vase. I wonder if it had a stopper originally. Check out this acorn. Cool, this fish is not having it. Hmm, terracotta angels. Um, let's see what else. Dollar Tree, that's very nice for Dollar Tree. There's a little box back here. Um, I don't know what it says. It's all right. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, this is cute box. Someone must have made it or painted it. Very pretty. Let's go around. Oh, look at these terracotta um, men in China. Um, they call coasters. How nice. I do like coasters quite a bit. Is that a uh, willow? Uh, willow tree? I don't know, somebody made that. <laughs> they stuck it in a glass. Cool. 
What's this trivet about? It's kind of, it's like not damaged at all. It's nice. Mm. Oh. You know, God bless America. This is nice. All right, all right. Now this is really cool too. It's, um, oh, it's broken, look. See that big old crack in there? Yeah, sometimes when there's really nice pieces just sitting there and there's like a whole bunch of people in the store, make sure you're looking at the item very carefully because there might be a reason. There may or may not be a reason why somebody would leave it behind, why most people would leave it behind, so. Um, yeah. Oh, look at this little bunny. Cute. Oh, this one's even cuter. That little pink nose and mouth. Avon piece. Yeah, Avon makes pretty, really, really pretty things. It's just that I find that I cannot sell Avon pieces. I think there's just an abundance of things. So there's more of those pink plates over here. Um, let's see what else I got here going on. This ball here. I don't know what that is. Resin decorative ball that you put in bowls in the middle of your dining room table. Oh, I did recognize this. This is a pepper shaker from Fitz and Floyd. I've seen them before. Don't know where the um, salt shaker is though. Okay, let's see what else we have. I do want to make time to go back to the sunshine. Um, thrift store so we're almost done here I see these copper angels back here really kind of neat they're four dollars each let's see them don't know this one is playing. oh this one's just missing it's Holder thing, yeah. Gosh, look at this awful thing. Someone made it. It says football nut with a bunch of nuts. It's like real nuts, and then they put resin over it. It's like a can thing back there. Whoever made this, I'm so sorry if you're watching this. This is awful. <laughs> this is awful. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at this owl teapot. I wonder how modern it is. It's probably super modern. It's four dollars. Cute though. I would take it if it's anthropology. I just looked it up and I just put in like white owl um, teapot in eBay and the sold ones came up. Anthropology. So be on the lookout for that. Anthropology sells really well for me. I sold some plates recently on there too. So very excited. Look at that. That's party light. Pretty. Oh, I'm going to have to look up to see if this dolphin is worth anything, but pretty much we're done. We're going to head over to the Sunshine Thrift after I check out with these really cool items I got here. Well, guys, that was a lot of fun. I got my $10 bag here. I paid $10 for something that I'm hoping, you know, well, something's in that $10 that I'm hoping to flip for big money. We shall see. Of course, I'll let you know. I need to make videos where I show you what I did sell. My life is a little overwhelming. I'm hoping to do this full time at some point, but you know, being a nurse is a little hectic, especially since I teach also. So I try to squeeze in all the thrifting and videos for you on the weekends. Just trying to get into my car. But there's too many things in here. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, something hurt. Yeah, anyway, so let's go to the Sunshine Thrift. It's about 38 minutes away. I'm ready, are you? Let's go. I'm enjoying my favorite candy, Junior Mints. Not only are they gluten-free, but they look to be dairy-free. It does say milk may be present, so be careful with that if you're gluten and dairy-free. But that is my treat for the night. All right, we'll let these cars go. All right, see you at Goodwill. I mean, see you at Sunshine Thrift. Be 
because why not get the world's largest paperweight? This was only $14. It does weigh eight pounds. Unfortunately, Sunshine Thrift was closing when I went in there. What I was able to get was this paperweight and some really awesome Napier jewelry that I'm about to show you. I paid $30 for one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of perfect Napier. No issues whatsoever. Inquire if you would like to purchase any of these beautiful pieces that you would surely get a better deal on with me than on eBay or finding it at one of the shops that sell secondhand. So let me know which piece you would like to purchase. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If there's anything that you saw me thrift that you would like to purchase, please email me at jolieflips at aol.com and just describe the items. I usually remember every single item that I thrift. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my small business.